Hi guys and welcome to another The Doolot Experience live stream or as we used to call it uh, Breakfast with Doolot if you are in the US. So uh, it's the third day I suppose we are playing um, the, there's available this uh, Ixalan draft and uh, yeah suppose I um, want to draft here and see how it comes and we have found that um, playing the aggressive vampire or a black red decks uh, was better for me uh, maybe my play style or something but it just just worked uh, while if i went into something else uh, i just fizzled so one thing that i'd like to try today uh, is to force merfolk uh, unless i get a bonkers rare so you know, you always want to experiment and stuff. So, Explorer is not so uh, useful. This one, on the other hand, uh, is really cool. So, and we have another Merfolk here. So, let's go over this. Uh, I would have, you know, snap picked this one. But as I said, I want to try something else just to understand what's my you know comfort zone in this format and uh, dinosaur dinosaur uh, this cannot be blocked this is a merfolk and uh, this cannot be blocked by creature with two or less and we have a fixing here i think i will go with this one uh, because again uh, cannot be blocked uh, it's cool forerunner of the legion is really good and uh, I think you want to get another one of this. Yeah. So naturalize is removal against flying creature, uh, but I will take the fixer as of now. So two blue merfolk and can block against uh, draw two and um, plus two plus two to a creature. This is interesting, but this is better because it's soup bodies for four and allows me to, you know, uh, have a, some kind of uh, finality. So I will take another one of these. That's oh, the first one. Uh, second of those is way weaker than this one. So uh, nothing here. So let's just take the, the uncommon for the vault. Um, this is interesting anyway, uh, but I'd rather not take it. So fixer again or two, three, four, two. So this is another can block for one more. I have a lot of two drops here. Uh, so I will take this one then the fixer is not something that I'm dying for. I will take this one just for, you know, be sure. Uh, there's nothing here. Uh, I will take not to realize I don't think I will ever play it. Nothing. Nothing. So, Obsession is cool. Um, yeah, there's nothing better. So, Obsession. It's, you know, uh, Curiosity with a plus one, plus one, which is really, really cool and uh, we have a combat trick here the twilight prophet is a uh, cool uh, you know mythic just for constructed but uh, the die is really strong so even though it's not a merfolk i will take it because it will you know uh, it will save one of your creature uh, from uh, some enchantment and can just uh, you know clear the blocks um, if you see that, you may put it. This is really interesting because it's a boomerang and it's even better if you have the city blessing and I suppose you have it. Uh, removal or bearer. Uh, bearer is better, I suppose. Uh, I think it's artisan here. Mm, 
treasures. Another artisan and another fixer. Uh, artisan again. Uh, Silax. This is really strong. And uh, I can cast it with flash because I for sure have faults. Storm the Vault uh, is not something useful, uh, but there's nothing else here. So let's take it just for the kicks. Um, this is some kind of a removal or, a, you know, save your creature, but I will take the darter, even though I don't think I will ever end up using it. Yurge, um, warrior, fixer, and nothing, and nothing. So, crew uh, is really strong, and equipment or vehicle does nothing to us. Um, and I don't have big creature uh, to fight them. This is a bounce, so can be decent. And this this is a you know the crab of this expansion. It's a two five four four. I will take this one again. Another removal, but there was not really anything here. Uh, this is cool. But I will take this one first because it's still a merfall. Let me thin our deck or eventually set 3 2, three, two for 2. And I hope that the reproot uh, comes back. Uh, this is wonderful. Uh, Spell Pierce is decent and this is decent too, but you know, uh, this is some kind of a um, continuous threat because it's counters and you can put them on your creatures. And. Uh, these explorers, but he's a 33 for 2. Uh, this is a good blocker and can grow with the explorer. I think I will take this, even though it's a. Uh, this is a good body. The scout is just a 33 for 3, so this can grow bigger if we get more um, branch walkers. Can sell. I will not take the crab. Okay, this is some kind of a phase trigger, so I can phase one with the explorer, but uh, nope. Uh, this is uh, rich, enter the fight, you cannot, no, I will take the console. And it's take a creature, uh, it must be blocked. Another console. Uh, dive down can be decent. Especially against some kind of combat trick. So no more, uh, no more guys for me. It seems so. I have to take the crab. And nothing. Hmm. Prevent all combat. I don't need this. That kind of uh, an effect. Okay, so let's go over the building and let's fetch some. Let's start more over um, the music. So I say um, I don't want if I can the crab, and it's Satriani today. I really love him. This is just a plus five plus five if I play on a non um, an unblockable creature. So to remove three cards. How many creatures do I have? 15. This is a 1, 4. Uh, I think I just cut it, even though 3 lives are good. I, I hope to get more of uh, the exploring guys. I think I can 
remove this one this is just too good to pass up there are so many flying creatures let's move one dive down and let's see how it works we didn't get any bonkers rare uh, or something you know the usual uh, snap pick first I don't really like the Merfolk in standard but because I'm not an aggro player I'm more of a combo or um, attrition player uh, but yeah so this can work to an extent uh, first turn into second into third and then from fourth we can start buffing our guys we have all the mana we want uh, yeah, and this will kill the flying creature. So we can even go into buff this. Um, Um, so I think it's uh, this or I think I want to use all my mana uh, so it's basically this one this guy here this one would have been better because it's uh, an unblockable guy and I could have started doing uh, uh, two damages each turn. But let let him use uh, the removal on this one, which still, if he plays like you know a bonds and stuff, uh, is still something that I can use. And if he goes for um, yeah bonds, it does nothing on this. So I have the chance to do this. Uh, into this into this and I can attack here if he plus two plus two and first strike I can still kill it so he's five uh, way past um, oh cool mm, I will buff this one and attack with uh, those two so let's just attack with these two next and see what happens sure if he's just that I will uh, put a counter on this one and this will be a huge clock especially if I get to land because I can put a counter here cycle through I get a land and buff this again it's a 5-5 five five, it's a three turn clock if not I will just play this and buff it okay um, I don't need to maybe now wants to play something here no, three damage it's okay So perfect. Um, I can go like this. To attack with everything. Um, buff this one. Um, yet again, let's go on this. And we can play next. 
we can play this and this means he cannot block this uh, unless he buffs it before um, blocks Sadly, Luminous Bones is not a good card to play on this. I would have played, I would snap played on this. You can have your artifact. Okay, this can block, and I suppose. Uh, so this can block, and as mana as long as you control another pair. So these both have mana, and those can block. So it's four, five, six, seven, eight damage. Um, four, six, seven, eight, nine damage. So I first uh, want to cycle this. Let's see what we get. Another land, sure. Uh, I can attack with everything and block this. So it's like putting all your eggs in the same basket here. Um, and here is when dive down would have been clutch. Because, you know, if he does something, I will dive down this. So sure, I will block with... Uh, I didn't mean to block this one. I will block this one and let this 6-2. If you have a double sure strike, it's better than me. Okay, so the, the aggro plan on the unblockable merfolk and did work. I don't know, let, let's see if we can find a place for a dive down. Um, this is 18 lands, 17 lands. Um, maybe we can remove this one. But it, it's something that I like because I don't have any way to, you know, Answer flying creature. I can bounce those. Okay. And today will be a shorter uh, stream because I need to leave like in two hours from now compared to the usual, you know, uh, three and more hour. So, uh, decent hand. Uh, it's not an aggro one, but I have my end game. I have four lands, so I will keep it. I will not play this on turn one. No, I will play now because I have protection for this and this can be a threat. So, uh, no, another another target. It's not a 2 2 4 1. So let's just wait. Let's make him think that we are on the slow end here. Vigilance, okay? We will play this one. Because uh, maybe we want to play this, so he bonds it instead of bonding this. Okay, fine creature. Um, this is not a dinosaur, this is a siren pirate. So let's collect this so we can a bearer into curious seem to dive down if he bones he did bond if he does if he bones as i said it's one into two into three uh, and playing the woodland uh, if not we will play the darter and uh, woodland i don't know we will see 
show. Now this is horrible for us. Because we no, you we remove the plummet, so bones, perfect. Perfect, like in a way. So it's uh Stria. Okay, so we have some kind of a some kind of a forcing him or we can recover this okay uh, I will not block here I will take six I really wish I, uh, I get a bounce uh, with this draw can be blocked okay I have oh you control so that's it um, so so he will do four damage if I attack here I, he can kill me next turn so I think I want uh, um, him to be forced to block here and uh, this does combat damage to a player so um, let's force him to, to block this it's a waste of a removal but it's the only one that I have and I will go to 2 uh, still waiting for the bounce he has to block Plus two, plus two. We can X proof it. Um, target creature you control. So never mind. GG. Yeah, we didn't get the removal, and we removed the only <laughs> plummet we had. We suffer from flying creatures, and it's normal. <laughs> we had a slow start with a, just a thorn tree drop. We were sure about his bonds, and that's why we played a 3 3. So, mm, better hand. We have uh, bounce, we have draws, and we can show this. So. so, this is a wonderful turn turn draw. Okay, I'm against the uh, Phoenix deck. Oh, so let's um, reveal my fork. Let's show him uh, this one. Cycle through, so he knows about this. We can bounce and to bounce or combat trick. So I think I want to play this one because it cannot be blocked by the Sailor Mints. Uh, play the bearer. Yeah, play the bearer on this. And next turn we can attack with everything, I suppose. Because I will play this one on the bearer. There's no point in attacking here until we get to the urge. I could have played this after. I could have buffed and killed this one with the urge. Um, but I don't think it's worth right now. Okay. This is something good to bounce. And we can even go into the, you know... Um, 
bounce it next turn when we go into Ashensia. So if I go plus two plus two on uh, this one, he can block just with this one and can trade. But if I go here, uh, we can block with both. So this will give me, I can bounce uh, the charger, but it will accomplish nothing. Uh, if I bounce it right now with uh, this one, Next turn I will have uh, nothing again. So let me think, if I attack with both... I want to put this on top of his uh, de uh, deck. And I have 4 and 3, 7, 8. I think it's just this. Into killing the cellar remains. It's plus two plus two, so it's a three three. Into this one. I don't think you want to double block here. Okay. So we just need any creature and we can double bounce uh, whatever. Okay. Perfect. Still uh, nine. One off of the Ascension or City Blessing, like it's called. Okay, draw your cards. Perfect. So we have Cancel. Uh, we still don't have the Blessing here. Uh, we can attack again with the Adept. Uh, and see what it does with the blocks. We can attack with both of this, to be honest, because we can bounce the charger or just, yeah. Okay, so the plan is we attack with both this and this. Um, we bounce the charger or the other creature blocks and eventually we can just fight it and we can bounce the charger with our Zaka here um, and then cancel it if we want. Okay, three, two. Um, I think I want to kill that. So let's cycle this uh, because killing that means that he loses the Ascension for sure. And this cycles, so I've removed the a good block. Perfect. So we got another land and we have the um, blessing next turn. So it's five, six, seven, eight. Mm, do I want to? Yeah, sure. So he has the blessing now. We can wait. Oh, sorry, the full control. Uh, we can wait for him to block with this and maybe return it. Nice. So we will bounce it. Dive down. Perfect. So he lost uh, uh, two cars uh, just to do five damage. I lost one. I'm I'm good here. I will be able to, you know, force him into So this goes on the on top of his hand. Uh, this cannot be blocked by two power creature, so neither those can block it. And uh, I think I can attack with this. So it's six and four. I should have waited for this cannot be blocked creature uh, because I want to, I can take five more. Yeah, I can take five more. And this that touch, um, he can draw a card 
but uh, he will put it um, on top of his library. And if he wants to go into some kind of a combat trick, uh, maybe buffing one of those creature strength, I can just counter this. Uh, target creature you control and target creature. So if I I have to remove all the all the target to make this move. So you have a three turn clock as of now, and one of his turn will be just charger. Okay, I will block this with both. Oh, he's going like this. Uh, sure, I can take five. Now I need uh, the one that gives tokens. So it's four and six. Sure. So this cannot be blocked. This cannot be blocked. Do you think he will have another? So I will put it on top of his library, making him lose a turn. And I'm threatening here uh, cancel. I can block this with both. I still have the city blessing even though something happens. No, I need only the guy that buffs. Or this. Because this is too merfolk with X proof, so I can block the charger until the end of days. And this cannot be blocked right now. And I will be able to make two unblockable creature next turn, I suppose. So this is unblockable. Uh, let's play the land. Because if I get another, it's he is dead. And this too cannot be killed by the, you know, uh, some combat trick that he may have. Okay. So I can take six and kill him in two turns. So next. Next. Um, let's go like this. Uh, Three attackers, keep full control. I want this not be blockable. Uh, submit. Uh, one, two, three, four. Resolve. And then I want this not to be blockable. Submit. So I have little next turn. Uh, even though he kills one of my uh, damaging creature. If he kills one, I still have little. Uh, if he has, you know, four more damage here, he has those. So both this and uh, the one that puts token on someone would have been clutch. Yeah, this does nothing for you, man. Not yeah, sure. Good game. So, as I said, we have two kind of an, an inevitability card. Um, where we can trump our opponents. The first one is the... Um, aquatic incursion and the other one is the shapers of nature
Um, this is lower hand, uh, but I have the Shaper, I have a Crash. I think I will go Jade into Obsession, to be honest. I wish I had more. Uh, let's say next turn I get another Shaper. Would have been really good. But this is wonderful. So we got the third land, so we can play this one with Flash or the Shaper. Let's stack first. Okay, so we will play the... Darter cannot be blocked by Dino. So maybe better than this on the long run, but I think that I have a crushing tide, so I don't care whatever he plays, it's five damage while this is just four. So if we place the three two, yeah, I was supposing he was playing this. Um I can crush in time this, return it, do five damage. And uh, next turn I can just attack with uh, I can just attack with this, um, attack with this, and I want to draw more. So let's be greedy here. Perfect. So we got the fifth land. Next turn we can uh, artisan. Yeah, take action. And next turn we can cancel into Darter or can uh, cancel into Yurge. Yeah. So this is delve damage. He draws a card. Uh, let's try and have this killed. We don't want to fade him. Uh, an easy kill. But next turn we can just kill him outright because he can play this one. Yep. Uh, if we get a bounce, he's dead. If he attacks, he's dead. Anyway. So this can not be blocked. This does nothing basically. So I'd rather play the darter that's unblockable. And I have the cancel for anything that he plays. So next turn I can uh, buff this. Uh, with plus one plus one and one more so both dinosaur here and I still have the cancel and no attacks Enter. yeah sure okay so he's tap it out. I will cancel this one because, as I said, my plan is this to be unblockable, uh, and I can attack with everything. Because he will block, let's say, um, this one and this one, and I will do three and one four and one five and one six. So he may have some kind of a combat trick here. I think I have to, you know, push it. So again, he has 6, this is 3, this is 4, this is 5. Um, so I just need to chill here. Attack with this. But nope. Uh, one attacker. Buff it. I can remove one to draw one but I don't want to do that so it's three I can take him to two yeah. so 
Is still a dinosaur. So it's just cycling this. I want to keep the mana open because I want to, if he does like 4 damage on this, I can buff it. Or if he just outright kills it, let's say they have one creature, fight another, I can remove the plus one plus one and draw. So next, next. Uh, now this should be little, unless he has a fog effect. I can, as I said, uh, remove the counter and draw here. Summon. Okay. So next turn I have the kill anyway. Because I can have everyone block one of my creature and I can buff another. Let's say I will force everyone to block this one and I will attack with the other two. I could have played another creature, sure. Okay. So just to be sure, uh, let's put um, us. Okay. No blocks. I will buff. Uh, Okay, nothing here. I will buff this one. Uh, so this, and I force everyone to block this one. Uh, there's some trick here. Nope. Let's move on one counter on this. Okay, so now uh, I will force everyone to block this uh, bearer. I know you can have something here and that's why I'm gonna attack with everything uh, with just these two. Or maybe if he goes with three I can still kill him. So he can have, uh, you know, fo um, fog effect, and I can just. They should have tapped differently here. You cannot. Didn't every creature add to block this one? Mm, I misread this one. Now oh, this just has to be blocked. I suppose it, it's everyone has to, like a lure where everyone has to block that one. I was wrong. Oh sure, he did me a favor because I can play now this stalker forest. Do you mm, did that at the end of turn or I can no? I can play the herge. So you need two blockers. One. Us. I need two blockers anyway. So plus one plus one. So Merfolk uh, is treating us well, uh, or at least decently. Uh, cool, we completed this. Do as usual thank you for watching this on youtube or uh, watching this live on twitch if you have any questions suggestions requests um, you know music is too high or please find another way to play because you are a noob and just tell me so this is i need a blue mana just to play but i have drop and i think i will get it yeah in fact so this cannot be blocked by power, two or less, so I will play it. Yeah. 
Uh, I want to go on the aggro side with this deck. And I have the incursion to allow me to go with the third turn, this, fourth turn, no blocks. So it seems that is lacking uh, a 3 drop. Let's go like this first. And then we go into the darter. Next turn we have Swarm Guardian into Stalker. Okay, so he doesn't have any... He can minus one this and kill this one. I recon that, but you know, I have to try his screwed, so... And I will just... Um, show him this, uh, show him the Stalker, we will Merfolk. This one, submit. I will draw a card and then I will show him the Stalker. If I will play the Stalker, that's shot. Okay, so I got the land. Let's see if he goes on a tap out. Two cards. Uh, I will discard a uh, one and Guardian. So these three are unblockable, I will let him try on this one, or nope, I will just attack with these three. Or I can play one more, yeah, let's go like this. And then I can bounce this. Take action. So next turn he doesn't have a blocker, and if, even if he does, uh, we have uh, this one that gives, you know, seven damage here. I don't think he can prevent this uh, f six damage. It's plus two plus two on this two that cannot be blocked by two power creature, and yeah. So now he can block those. Um, so let's keep an end. Uh, okay, he's dead. My he was a little on board, and with a plus two, plus two. So I did rank up. Uh, it's still gold tree. You can get down until you get to the next tier, which is gold platinum, I suppose. I don't care about the ranks. I don't have the time to grind, even though uh, the previous week I had uh, time to play a couple of hours each day and I streamed it um, but I think I'm not a really good player uh, in limited right now because I don't know all the sets I'm just catching up uh, I am better with Ravnica and before the uh, MMR change I was able to steadily 6 or 7 uh, 0 or 7 something not zero. <laughs> it would have been so good to seven zero stuff. So this is a low end, but I have some kind of a uh, you know um, control. And if I get a one drop, uh, it would be wonderful. Okay, My crushing tide. So it's still on the really slow hand of the thing. So we got all the bounce uh, that we could get. I think we got all the three. Um, we got Crushing Tide, uh, Desire. So let's go over uh, this with Darter. I don't think it's worth just to stay with Cancel because if he doesn't play anything here. Um, okay, if he doesn't play anything, I could just, uh, you know, bounce it. And I think I want to buff this one and uh, have him be forced to trade this or give me a card if he has a removal it's okay uh, but if i will take one card so this will substitute himself and uh, if not i will just keep attacking with this and i will keep my cancel up take action woodland perfect so i'm still eating my land drops I said he can remove this with uh, uh, Impale or something. 
I'm fine. Okay. So if he doesn't remove it, uh, I think I basically won this. Tezimok is fine. It will be removed by uh, my cancel. So I will just hold my... Sure. You are doing nothing. He's basically skipping a turn. So I need to save my cancel for Tezi. And thus I need to be open with my mana. Okay, I can... I think I can... Do, 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 do. I can crush in tight this, but then I need to get the dive down. So, uh, okay, if I play this one, I can return this to his end, and I still have the treasure uh, to counter Tazimok. I shouldn't, I should have done my math differently because I could have drawn a card here. So it will go land into Tazi. I will cancel it. Sure. Get the fight out of here. As I said, I should have, when he played that, before he could assign it as a uh, as a blocker, I could have just uh, I would have drawn one more card, and this is uh, two more damage. So this is two more damage, and yeah, we'll bounce it next turn. So so let's just go wherever. Attack with everything. Just hope to get a land. Take action. Okay. So sadly, I cannot play this, uh, but I did gain two damage. Uh, that means that I can play this one and have this unblocked until the end of days. Jace, he had everything. This guy had everything. He did play this one. Mm. Sure. So I can, okay, what I can do here uh, is to just play this one and win next turn. It's, it's little next turn, let me count. Uh, I can attack with this, bounce the, I can attack with this, bounce the Wind Rider. Yeah, I have to attack because this dies if I don't. Yeah, let's attack with this. Attack with this. Attack Jace. It will block with whatever, I don't care. Sure. Next. I can now play this one. Then next turn, I can attack with one of the X-Proof and uh, bounce the Illusion, for example. So, he cannot counter this right now. And this means, yeah, sure, go with your tricks. So unless he removes this, bounce this, or whatever, this will be four damage. And I can kill Jace if I want. So he... The only thing it should do is do this um, buff on his creature so he can draw a card. I should cycle through his deck, maybe looking for a removal or something. As I said, I could have, have lethal here if I just bounce the Dirt Fleet poison, uh, Poisoner before I, you know, 
uh, assign the blockers. So you should draw a card, discard a card. So he has this one. Okay. Sculptor Champion of Dusk. You are killing yourself, basically. Okay. So I think uh, I want this to be unblockable. I want to attack with this. Draw one. Um, I think I want to be littling him next turn. So he can have some kind of a bounce. Sure. Okay. I take action. I have a land. So I can go uh, Shaper. And it's uh, five, six, seven, or adept, or I can even uh, just bounce this at the end of turn. So let me count here. Um, I can bounce this. He will attack. I can bounce this at the end of his turn, and he will have two blockers for my. Uh, this five, if I get a land, this is little, so I think this is better. Yeah. If I get a land and it doesn't get any kind of a removal, this is little, and uh, I can even bounce this uh, with a crushing tide, make. Uh, okay, draw two. I think I should have attacked the first. Always an answer. This, even if he attacks with, let's say, 10,000 creature, it will be still one card. Sure, take your card, cycle through your deck. So it's fine. He is looking probably for his last removal. But anyway, um, with the end I have now, um, I think I am favorite here. I just need a land. Okay. Why did this? Okay, that one, okay. So he said five. Um, he is at five. I can make this unblockable. Uh, play the other and bounce this one. Or by bounce Jace, maybe. So I can make this unblockable for sure. Let me tap the mana before. One, two, three. I think I want just one double, yeah. Next. So this is next, so it goes to combat. Next. Uh, he will be at... I can kill Jace, but yeah, I think it's just better if I... And turn... Sure. He keeps cycling through his deck. But I can bounce uh, now the water knot at the end of his turn. Let's put a stop. 
Resolve. Let's block this one. Um, I can bounce this to prevent his drawing. Uh, what do that accomplish to me? That he doesn't get a removal? Yeah. So, okay. So it's one less card that she can get as a removal. And I just need one creature of mine, this one for example, to be alive because it's X-proof and it's unblockable. So I will just tag with this. Uh, yeah. And he didn't have any combat trick because he would have, you know, played on the 3-3. Three, three. Waited at least. What do we get here? Our first pack of the week and a Blood Divination. So 5-1, uh, I think that aggressive strategies are really good in this format, but I'm mm, trying, still trying to solve it um, because as you have seen in the previous days, I'm a complete noob. Uh, this is an horrible hand, but he has three lander into conceal. So if, if my opponent is a slow deck, this is decent. Uh, and he mulligan to six, so let's keep it. We have all the mana we want, we can bounce stuff, we can counter, and we have some threat later on. And he is scrying on bottom, so means that the first card wasn't even, let's say, his mana screwed and uh, that wasn't a land. You don't have two other read over those, maybe it was a good drop, but it was steady, but he didn't have the you know time to play that. Ascension, double strike as long as you, okay. Second tap land, next turn again cancel, whatever. But I am behind due to this 2-2, so I need some kind of a threat or blocks. Oh, it's three color. Guardian is okay, it's just so slow, it does nothing. So let's go over it. Uh, next turn is probably Artisan, where I can Orzaka into Bearer next turn. And or Zogin to cancel or whatever. And this is 3 3, so he has to block it in some way. I can go up to 10 against this deck. Especially due to his mulligan. I'm not I'm not feeling threatened. So this I will counter. I still have uh, another cancel in hand if I need to. And you remember that we don't have that many good removal. So let's go uh, Jade here. So we have some kind of a, a body just to block. We don't want to snap trade here. Um, okay, this is horrible for us. Uh, but we can. Okay, so we can, um, you know, make him make him scared about attacking anyway. And we still have the cancel up. So um, I think that attacking here is the wrong move because he can attack, tap this, and attack with everything. I want to block the stalker if I need to. I could play the bearer on the stalker, just so he cannot attack at all with this. Uh, but next turn I can make him lose a turn with 6 and no, I still need another. So I will go into attack here, attack here, okay. He will tap the 3-3, three, three. okay. So he doesn't have any combat trick. I will take the damage and then buff this one next turn. So he stopped attacking at all. So 
So we got a land, my turn. Perfect. So uh, it's even better if I just go um, darter. Just darter. Um, because darter can now block the hammer school with the stalker. I'd have a, would, uh, you know, uh, I would be able uh, to completely block his attack. So it's a two for one. It's a one for one for me, but uh, it's a two for one because I, I'm removing one good creature on his side, which is this Summer Skull. Nope, not even close to play that. So if he attacks, um, I think I will block with two. But I will block this gun one, this guy. And uh, it's six mana, and three nine ten. I can j even uh, Orzaka him, or Azaka, or whatever it's called. These stupid names. Uh, so this cannot be blocked by a creature with two or less, and this cannot be blocked by dinosaur. Uh, so let's just go like this. Maybe we want to troll him. So if I do this on, on this one, it will. No, this will be three damage, continuous damage. And I have three and six, so okay. Uh, power two or less. So these two are unblockable. And this one goes here this is the old one right? right okay uh, I think it doesn't want to attack anyway if it blocks uh, it's good for me I will kill the summer school or I can even uh, just bounce the creature the you know three or more creature that he plays so he's saving the blessing and that's double strike each non-pirate creature so i can bounce this one and these two will still live so if I bounce this one, uh, this will still be dead, this will be dead, this two will stay. So the bounce will do nothing to me. Maybe let's just bounce one of those. Yeah, bounce one of those. Uh, decline. He should have attacked. He should have attacked because I would have blocked here any day and he would have traded even more because I will still keep uh, this threat he doesn't have any w good way and if I get my you know end game sure go he's doing four and nine and yeah I just want this Next, no attacks. Enter. This double striker is horrid, but at least, yeah, we can manage. Obviously, any kind of sure strike, it's lethal. Oh, the, the cannonade was really good. Let's find some music while he still thinks about what he wants to do. Um, let's find uh, see all albums. 
Mm. But it is stopping. Okay, so I need to double block here. If he has, as I said, if he has any kind of a combo trick, it's good enough. I cannot uh, just win it all. Seal. He will kill this one probably and then do two damage here. I will be too. Uh, how could he kill Bob? With two? He didn't have that touch, so how could he kill Bob? Double strike and I have a uh, too late man and this is too late. Uh, and I am one mana short of it. So he can not tap those. I can kill one of his creature, go to Yeah. He is too late. I can still live one turn. Uh, I need to play this land. And the only play here is to block the, you know, big guy and the fellow. What can save me here is like, you know, a miracle. And this is not such a card. And one more land. Good game. Uh, let me... You know, turn off the light, turn on the light. Okay, I'm back. Uh, one more loss and we are out, or yeah, two more wins and we are into seven to territory. This one, this was one album from Joseph Triani where he decided to show that you can do other stuff with your guitar than, you know, oh, we are in big boy territory. Nazinator is a uh, Diamond, I think. Um, okay, decent. Um, um, he did some scratch here. He played with a lot of a seven chord guitar, and he went into you know Oriental melody. It's a really cool album, and there are you know some obvious classic um, Joseph Triani tunes, like Mountain Song is one of his um, well-known. So we threaten the cancel here. Okay. I don't know if I want to um, block this. For sure I cannot be blocked. Um, I think incursion is best. He cannot counter this right now. Sure, sure, I will take the damage. This can be blocked by dinosaur. Okay, so we are um, still in a territory where we can just attack with the stalker. Well, we can now uh, block one of those two and even threaten to kill it if we want and eventually we can cancel it something that he plays and he seems he's mana screwed or color or whatever he's stuck in trillions so he 
could have, you know, drawn and explored. I will let this through. I cannot counter them all. He's not attacking. Okay. So, uh, making this a 2-4 uh, means that it will block and kill this, but I want to have a threat. So unless this explorer and uh, fetch something good for him, I can just go all out here uh, with a 3 damage each turn. And even if he does, I want some kind of uh, um, inevitability with this one, because I will pump this, have him like uh, they could have uh, pass aggressive urge here uh, just because oh this is perfect but it forces me to you know um, be on a top out so let's just attack with this and we will uh, play the urge here No. And as I said, we will play the urge because we want to get a land. Perfect. So it's four, seven, land. If he explores, yeah, nice that. So we are 6, 2. And yeah, as Jazz did say yesterday, forcing Merfolk, even without super good cards, is really good. I already paid for my draft. And just that there are so many common and uncommon good Merfolk cards. Curiosity is wonderful, and in the end, if you are forcing Merfolk here and you are getting some kind of a rare or stuff, you are still um, doing good for your constructor. So this is horrible. This is decent. Nope. This will go on bottom, even though it's a removal, it's a non it's on turn four. So I really wish I get another, uh, you know, Merfolk, so I can play that on turn two. Okay. I don't think uh, we are in a hurry to play a one-one for one on turn two. Maybe it's better if we just go into incursion. Ouch, this hurts. This can basically kill us. So I think I have to, you know, this turn I have to take the damage. Next turn I can incursion and block it. And then I will for, it's like every token I get, it's doing four damage. And then on turn five, uh, I can play this and buff this. Pass. So, um, or even better, because this cannot be blocked by creature with two or less. So now he can basically not attack here, because if he attacks, it's fine. It's like I'm attacking for four. And if he does something, if he does nothing here, sorry, as I said, I will just go like this, uh, put more threat on board. And yeah, I think it's like this. He can have a plus two, plus two and first strike. Uh, it's okay. I'd rather have him waste his own removal on 1-1 one, one X-proof that I got from, let's say, it's an alpha card. 
one third of a card. So perfect, he's doing two damage to him. I will for sure play one of those. Oh, perfect. So I can even go like this. Uh, buff this guy. Buff the artisan. Attack with the artisan and dive down hit. So let's act like noobs. So he thinks, oh, he played everything beside before the the attack. It's a noob. He doesn't know how to play. And now we have this that's unblockable. This one that's four damage unblockable, or even I can bounce something and play another threat. So I don't know if he fell into our trick or he was just, you know, sure that something would have been done. Okay. So these explorers and then next turn I will like four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I will play this one and bounce this one. I wish I had one more land. So it's four. Do you have four, eight, nine, ten? I really wish I had one more land. Take action. So he's skipping his next turn. And I'm attacking with everything here. He will be able to gain 4 next turn, because we know, but we will attack with everything anyway. Because he's at 7. Uh, sure. Sure. We knew that he would have been a 4-4. Four, four. And we don't have the mana for the cancel, so we'll attack with everything, make this unblockable. If I attack it with everything, it will block this and, uh, and take 7 damage. Uh, gain 4 and go to 3. And next turn uh, it will play the Vampire. I think I just attack with this one and let him attack. So I will have to attack with the Life Linker here. Or he is dead. Okay. Okay. Sure. No blocks. I could have blocked with two, but it would have meant something. And he is dead. Good game. So, uh, we managed to pull it through. Uh, this has been a wonderful run. Uh, seven win. Oh, we even got, you know, <laughs> rewarded uh, by playing some Merfolk with a Merfolk card. Sure. So we got our two packs and seven wins. Okay. Uh, let's just uh, screenshot this. Doot, doot. Claim prices. We didn't get the bonus pack, but it's okay. We don't want to, you know. And uh, yeah, so I have like one hour, uh, so I think we will just uh, go into another. Um, let's see if the rare isn't something that wants us to, you know, go again. Uh, into it, we will just uh, force something like pirate or some kind of aggro. So the rare is just horrible, and yeah, we can go merfolk again, or we can go into pirate. Both are really good, and this is good with dinosaur. 
so blue is really good here with not into herald into uh, river so i will think i will take this one first and see what happens so there's nothing here in our you know uh, strategy i will um, i think i can take this one but if i don't get to to recover more um merfolk i want to go into another strategy so impale maybe what oh this is two packs so uh okay so we got some uh, some more pirates and even a draw here but this is different than divination just for the mana this means that you you don't play this in a three color decks and this is a decent blocker where are our blue cards so if we have to you know go into another color let's take this okay so it seems that black is not uh, it's open and uh, white is open too so I think we have to go into something else than the deck we previously played. Exile target power for as long as you remain, you may cast it. Oh cool. So it seems that we have to go into... There's the artisan. Uh, this may end up being a... I have to retire this. Um, because it seems that white is open, so is black but sometimes we get some green cards and sometimes we don't so uh, it's risky to go there and we may end up not getting a decent deck uh, i don't want to go into blue black because i don't have any good card here while a miss clock into jade is really cool it's still pack one but you know counter target creature spell uh, you create a token so i'd rather take this counter spell because uh, you know you don't have that many removals in a merfolk deck so again not that many blue cars cleansing ray Okay, if I don't get, okay, I don't get any merfolk here. I will just take this as a, a planeswalker. But there's this vampire for white black. We only have four card, so let's put it like this. So we got a decent card for white black, and a, a plummet is a sideboard card. I don't want to play that. Uh, let's say decent. Uh, card for a green black blue deck so i think i will take this one because there's nothing that forces me okay so this has just become you know a uh, resign i will take uh, all the rares and the uncommons that i need uh, there's it's just horrible i could take the second uh, or the pioneer here but you know yeah yeah let's just take the the rare resign it's like we are opening booster and those are the cards that I'm getting. I don't even bother watching the stuff. Uh, I will just take the rares and the uncommons and let it be. Just <laughs> because it's cool. Uh, it's doable and uh, yeah, it's a horrible draft. So let's resign this. Sorry. Uh, I think I have four of those. Sorry, <laughs> again, uh, I'm really, really sorry that this draft went like this, uh, but there's nothing here that really, really wants me to um, to keep playing. I will uh, steadily start another one. Uh, let's just take the uncommon. Uh, there's some common or that I could use. I didn't even check. 
Uh, Walker, I think I have four or more. Um, do -do 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 -do. Axis is beginning to get target rights. Challenge life totals. <laughs> if they ever implement commander, which they said they will never do, this would have been cool. Uh, sure, this is gas cradle. The brute water. Okay, so we will take this. It, in the end, it would have been even uh, good if we kept taking creatures. But you know, it's horrible. So, resign this. It's pointless. And the good thing about drafting here, uh, if you go like this now, uh, let me uh, indulge you for a second. Um, Let's say uh, you just wasted, uh, you can say you just wasted 750 um, gems. And I know that none of this uh, rare that I got is uh, really playable. Uh, but if you go like this, it's like I opened uh, five packs and uh, I got, I opened three packs and I got uh, six, seven array. Uh, the one that I really am. There's nothing here that really screams, please play me. Uh, but the deck was not consistent. And uh, yeah, just take everything. Uh, go to 40. Don't resign. Uh, so it's just like we opened three packs. So let's try again and hope that's uh, not a biased one. Maybe the error was trying to force Merfolk again. So this is really good. So he's impale and this seer will take uh, this and we may end up forcing some kind of a pirate deck. So this is red, black or Little double strike with a strand. We can even try and force green black or merfolk again. <laughs> merfolk seem you know decent. So because we are we have the hook, uh, we can try to play this because with a shantion this is a really good combo. And uh, there's nothing that really this is decent and this is strong as we have already know in the previous draft. This is super strong if you can justify playing black green. Uh, it's not supported in this format. So I will take this for now. And if I don't see any other, uh, because there are decent cards in red, you know, it seems that we are going again uh, into Merfolk. Yeah, there are so many good cards here. Water not into the bearer. So, yeah, we can still play the Uke. Especially an unblockable creature is really good. There are 10,000 Beerer uh, running around. Crushing Tide is super strong. Uh, nothing here. Uh, I think I have a rough sentries. And beer. So we got like a constructed deck. Arms Walgo, counter target creature, water knot. So it's artisan or stalker. Um, Zwalgo is cool. Uh, but I'd rather get the cancel and be more, you know, journalistic here. Uh, yeah. What does he do? Um, play an additional land. Can attack or block? And this is good, even in a Merfolk deck. Because as you have seen, we tend to go wide 
uh, and we may take the blessing pretty soon. So, yeah, let's take this. Bearer or Errol? I think I have three bearer, so I will go over the third one. Um, but this allows us to go wide. So let's take this one first. Yep. Negate. This is wonderful. Um, let's take the Hurge here. It's a good combat trick. Um, negate. Negate, I don't think I will ever play it. But, you know. And the incursion. I don't know. Now I have the feeling that I already saw an incursion and I passed on it. Another Hurge is too much. Is one too much. Uh, so we got the artisan back. Uh, Explore the unknown. This cannot be blocked. Perfect. Another artisan. And better. So it's like playing constructed here. Not that I ever played <laughs> Merfolk in constructed. Uh, what does it do? Uh, Exile top card. Oh, yeah, it's an online. You may cast it when you cast a third spell in a turn. Sure. Ouch. So it's really like playing constructed. Merfolk Wizard and the return target creature you control. And this is a 4 drop and cannot be blocked. Um, ooh, this is good. Let's hope it, you know, a wheel back. And there's a, you know, a vehicle that allows us to play the Jade Bearer into this soon. But I will take the Merfolk first. Um, this is Cancel. Yep. We don't have any good hard counters. Dinosaur, Merfolk, non-creature spell. Uh, you put a plus one, plus one. Uh, human Druid. I don't think. I think this is a trap because how many non-creature spell I have? Silex. I have Negate. I have Dirge. No, maybe this works. Ouch! I will have to take this. How can he be so uh, long uh, in the draft? So this is the crab and this is an explorer 3343 three, three. and this is dive down. I think I want, let, let me count the creature. Uh, Merfolk, bearer, Silex, added, root. Uh, negate is out for now. This. Um, one urge. And plummet is out. Darter he is sticking. Cancel into hook. Sculptor. I think two is decent. So uh, let's do like this. Uh, how many do we have? Six, two, six, seven, eight, nine. Ouch! No, too many. Uh, I think the, this one will buff the you know champion, and it's even better. And this gets plus three plus three in trample and this buffs the captain the champion hmm. so trample this is a worse version of uh, giant growth and opt is always opt but in standard in limited i don't think that's good fog Shaman Horizon. This is a counter, so maybe uh, we can even consider it. I don't know. Uh, we may end up taking the crab. A two dive down is too much. The crab will, we will never play it. Uh, sure. A spell pierce. Uh, a jack or this, this. So we have another Merfolk deck. Uh, if um, if you'd rather 
uh, don't have me uh, playing this uh, I will skip so uh, please say so if you want me to not play again a boring merfolk deck we will not play the crab and we will not play the horizon the horizon works well with the champion though but it's just one card and i need to cut something here uh, scout daughter how oh, the champion okay so we have two unblockable four ways of buffing it way to protect those dive down legs uh, we don't play the second dive down because we have already the same guy and the only thing I can do is here uh, remove we don't have that many way to draw because we don't have the opportunity and we don't have the the, the you know the divination didn't will uh, so the play an additional land is smooth unless we are you know um, mana flood and if we are flooded uh, it's pointless anyway so this will be probably a dead card crushing tide so these are the two cards that i'm considering i could even remove one of those but with all those unblockable creatures i think it's better if i keep those and uh, yeah this banas is really good so yeah we have this have to go uh, this is weaker, way weaker than the, the mm, previous because we don't have the other inevitability card, uh, the one that puts token and let us draw. And I think we have to change the image here because we don't have that Tyrannosaur anyway. We don't have that. Okay, so let's see if we go 0 3 with this or we can, you know, uh, go again into at least a 3-3 or 4-3 and uh, I hope that I am able to end this run before uh, 50 minutes because as I said I have to go soon so this is decent we have unblockable into threats sure so I just like to get a couple of bearers and uh, I will be fine and happy so no bearers just a mood turn next turn is darter uh, is you know ramping up really well and i'm flooding So if it ups out here, I will incursion. Uh, if you don't, I will just um, no blocks. I don't need to. Uh, if he doesn't, I will just huge. Uh, okay. Oh, the darter. I'm fine with it. So as promised on these very screens here we are, the incursion so next turn is a land into type down and artisan if I need to oh he even got the catacomb too ouch we will take those damage now Life linking too. Ooh. So if I plus two plus two this one attack. Um I can attack here. And I can block with this three and do some kind kill this one. Sure. I was sure this one worked on uh, his card too. 
and it's only a creature you control. Why is not attacking? Can he counter this? No. So now I even I have an even better block for this. Unless he goes all Tazimok on me. He can draw three here at the end of his turn. Destroy, create two tokens? No. So this Fizzle doesn't create the tokens. And it's seven. Still, um, even though this is a this is poking game, um, I still want to kill this. But this is horrible. He has a way better board. Yeah. I don't know why he's not attacking, to be honest. And I'm flooding as usual. So if he goes into five, I will block with two. So he has gain uh, five. I will take for sure three each turn and I will probably have to block with this guy here. So any kind of first strike and stuff, it's basically killing me. Oh sure, so these are the last uh, 5 damage you are doing to me. How strange. My clock is 4 damage, his clock is 4 damage, but he's at a thousand million more than me. I can block this one. So my clock is 5 damage now. I need 4 turns to kill him. Resolve. And he needs a three turn to kill me. So I'm slower here. Uh, four and four. Okay, I can play the land the next turn if I need to. So I have six damage each turn, so I need two turns to kill him. No blocks. Okay, so I'm dead the next turn. <laughs> I'm dead and I feel even flooded so badly here I got like uh, 11 of my 17 lands this deck is less inconsistent because we didn't get to uh, get the other uh, plus one plus one token giver <coughs> we are faster if we get Sorry, a um, moment. If we get into an explosive opener, uh, like uh, one unblockable creature into... Yeah, so this one can be crazy good. Because we will Silver Jill Adept on two, then Bearer. It, then probably it's Champion first.
So it's adapt uh, into uh, it's land into adapt into bearer. Or cha no, it's champion because of this. And champion means that he will. Okay, so I got the second land. I can champion here. Ouch, this is strong, really strong. I will not block here. And now means that... Um, I can Silverger Adept into Bearer, I suppose. Or I can just attack with this. He will not block for sure. If he's blocking, I'm really happy here. So I am playing um, Adept, Real Merfolk, play the bearer, submit. As always, don't put all your eggs in the same basket. So I cannot block the Zealot if I have to, or the Delver. Sure. If he attacks, I will block it. Yeah, this is um, this is better if I go like this. I'm fine because that was an horrible card for me to face. And uh, yeah, I will just attack here. He knows that we have some kind of a combat trick, but I want to cycle this. Oh, let's cycle with green. And it's two counters. And one counter and one plus one plus one. Oh, still stupid. Lance. So we are fooling badly here. Uh, we've drawn eight cards and we still have, you know, all landers. Not that. Nope. He will uh, give it this flying. I don't like this enchantment, uh, this, you know, equipment. Uh, but it's decent. It's better. Uh, the Duke, the if we get it. We don't have the Gook. Still land. So, I got over 14 cars. I got uh, 10 lands. I don't think there's nothing flashy that can kill me. But he has a better clock than me. Ouch, and uh, now the clock just skywalled. Skyrocket, more than skywalled. <coughs> oh, he got another, not sure. So he has blockers for days. I need some kind of a... <sighs> 15 cars, two lands. Cars, uh, three cars, three cars, three, and this is killing me next turn. Yeah, just let's draw another land here. Uh, let's draw another land just to be fun, you know. And then we will probably retire a title spite. How do you say? Fuck you, deck. So even consider it dropping one land, but I'm sure if I go like there uh, and drop a land here, I will get mana screwed. We have nine, eight drops, so no, I want more island. So, we have like only 
four drops as a high curve. Uh, what did I mess? Okay, so we remove one land. Let's put something here. Uh, spell Pierce. So let's put this one. And now we will screw hard, because I'm sure. And it's a wonderful way to end this stream. <laughs> so, one lander, one, um, one forest is really good. Let's see me screwing here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We can return uh, one of those. Uh, so we will keep uh, playing the bearer on the same. Yeah, sure. Is this card good? I don't like this card. So, uh, as I said, we will keep playing the bearer. We just want to get a land here. Uh, it would be good. The forest would have been even better. Okay, so we didn't get it. Uh, we can bounce this, make him lose a turn, draw a card. So we will do this right now because we want to have um, an island to play the Miss Clock Herald. We can play after the combat. So, we bounce this. And we didn't get, but at least we can uh, show the Herald and play the Adept next turn. Sure. We can kill uh, whatever it takes. We can kill this. If it takes uh, the plummet, um, we can you know play adept into herald. If it takes the whatever else, um, I'm fine. So we still have the plan of playing the adept. Oh, this is even better. So I can play the sculptor right now. He knows our end. We can play the sculptor. Return the bearer. Attack with this one. And next turn we will go. Um, if we draw a land, is dead basically. If we don't, uh, we will go bearer into artisan. So we just need a land. One land, please. One land. One land. It's not a land, but yeah, it's close to that. So as I said, whatever it took here would have been good for us. So at least we won one. Okay. 
I think it's the first. Uh, the, the previous one was the first uh, um, seven something I did after the MMR. And here it is the land mana screw. So, as you may know, they just check two hands and then give you the better uh, creatures to land. Okay, this is decent. Uh, this is better. Oh, cool. So we will go Hadept. Shine the Stalker. We draw one. Okay, so it, we got a decent hand, really decent hand. Because we have a threat, we have a cancel. If it does nothing, we will go. Uh, we will just pass here. Um, okay. Decent. We can play deep root here and next turn we can even do tricks like urge into stalker no tax and our cancel is live uh, starting next turn we can kill that we can even kill that So now we have to choose uh, if we go on, if we want to go uh, stalker or incursion. Incursion will buff it, and we can go stalker next turn. So using all mana is better, and we create two more tokens, bringing us close to the ascension. We don't have anything I, th I think that works with the city blessing. Sure, this cannot attack or block. I think I can attack and block with uh, some other guy, right? And next turn I will start attacking with the Stalker as a 3-3 or more. And remember that this is an enchantment, so uh, at the end of any turn where I get um, him to our extend, I can bounce this. Uh, um, yeah, it will be blocked by the Merfolk. Nope, not even close to be playable. He says dinosaur and we are just dead. I don't know why I didn't attack. It would have been, you know, uh, flying with vigilance. So if I go like this... Um, this cannot be blocked by dinosaurs. And this can only be blocked by the 3 1. No attacks here. And turn. Ouch! And he has the blessing next turn. He has already, but you know, next turn works. So you have to make him mm, do some mistakes and yeah something like uh, this is uh three four 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 yeah next next attack mm-hmm so it isn't it didn't fell into the combat trick. I think I'm gonna uh, buff it just to be able to draw. Okay, so I got artisans. 
Okay, I just won. I still don't understand why he's not attacked with the, the Pterodon. Okay, now you are playing the same game as me. He just lost like 6 damage. So I want to keep playing lands and I want to have this one. On the, let's say, 3-3. Three, three. This still cannot be blocked by the dinosaur and everything beside this is a dinosaur. Land, perfect. He's basically drawing two here. And as long as he doesn't get like a six drop uh, with uh, the effect, I'm fine. I just need some more unblockable creature or lands. So he has four blockers, we have three, six, seven. Oh, perfect. So this is menace means that he has to be blocked by two or more creature, and uh, yeah, let's go for it. So menace and uh, cannot be blocked by creature with two means that I will kill those two. next this still can be blocked by dinosaur sure I can equip this again on uh, let's say one other creature Block with the color. It's the right thing to do. There's no plus four unless it goes double. Sure, draw two. So this means it goes here. Enter. So one, no, I need two more lands. One land, okay, I'm fine. Um, I need next turn, this cannot be blocked by dinosaur. He doesn't have ways to, beside this, to not block that. Sure, haste. Okay. Still plummet would do something here. Attack with dinosaur, you are crest. I don't know why you are not. So I think... Okay, I'm dead the next turn, I suppose, because two, four, seven, six, and I think uh, he has ways to... Um, You just need one mana here, so let's do like this. One, two, three, four. Jetcrafter. On this menace guy. And play this one. Attack with uh, three, four, and seven, five. It wouldn't have been little anyway. The only good thing is this is flying, so I can block one of those. So the menace means that he needs to block with two. 
and any two creatures that he blocks with will be dead. I'm fine with that. Sure. So next turn I can equip uh, to something. Let me think if I want to equip the uh, hook here. So if I equip next turn and then make the creature unblockable. Please, please land, land, land. Okay, so I'm still alive here. Okay. I need a bounce for maybe the luminous or you know something this cannot be blocked by dinosaurs so it can be blocked only that prophet if I equip the hook here it will be five damage going through and it will be at four but he still be able to block with everything else I think the Duke goes on the Artisan and he has one, five blockers, I have three, um, four, five, six, seven attackers. Okay, so this is going here. I can attack. So I have to think uh, if I want to equip this one. I can equip this one on this guy here. Uh, make his having menace. And uh, make him unblockable. So it will be 5 through. For sure. And then I will make this one unblockable. So I can attack with this and this. Okay, so I have lethal on board next turn. And uh, I can block two here. Recover, sure. So if he plays the uh, Prophet here, uh, I still have lethal because I will move the, I will make this unblockable or this unblockable. And I can protect it with the storm or whatever. Okay, GG. So, uh, it's running late and I don't think that the format will go anywhere uh, in the next days. So I will open the pack that we got and I will uh, continue the draft tomorrow. Uh, yeah, let's open this stuff we got. Uh, hoping for dual lands because it's something that I want. And uh, Or wild cards, yes. So duels and wild cards. Form of the dinosaur. Okay. Uh, sooner or later, you have to play one deck with form of the dinosaur. This is a cool constructed card. At least we are not opening junk. Oh, this is already flip. Okay, it's my fifth, so go straight into the vault. Okay. So thank you for watching. Thank you for checking the stream. Um, we have been going good with aggressive deck. We did one draft that was horrible, but at least we got some dual lands out of it. And uh, catch you tomorrow. Uh, it will be a bit a little later than usual, so around uh, 10 p.m. Uh, European Central Time. And uh, yeah, thank you for checking. Thank you for watching. Ciao.